hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm actually going to be showing you guys how to thread the bobbin part of your sewing machine and again this is a brother ce 1100 prw machine and it comes with over like 99 different stitches but today we're not working on any of the stitches we're actually going to be doing bobbins so normally the machine actually comes with um some bobbins in it and if you could you could go buy more bobbins but be sure to get the correct bobbins for your machines i don't think these bobbins use case 15 um, bobbins which are like the steel ones with all the little dots but um i picked up a pack of bobbins from walmart i think they were like three dollars or something like that and they were just bobbins for brothers sewing machines you make sure you um read on the back and remember what your sewing machine number is so you won't be getting the wrong numbers because that could affect like um certain different stitches on your machines and like it could ultimately like not even just tear up your machine but it'll have your machine to where it won't act right so be sure to have the proper bobbin um as you guys can see i'm actually starting off with my machine with thread on it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be showing you guys how to thread try to take your thread from here 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 to here and get your bobbin wound up so you can sew okay and um, if you I will have the link to my how to thread the video how to thread your sewing machine I did that like last year I'll have it somewhere in the corner I don't know if it be here or there but it'll be um, the video link will be there and it'll also be in the description box below so be sure to check that out as well so let's get to it now like I said I'm starting with my machine I already having my thread on there so you make sure you want to have your uh, thread on the thread spool with the spool cap I, I think I'm missing the size of mine but make sure you have that and so what you're gonna do um, I'll show in another video clip is that you follow basically this diagram right here to thread your body this is the diagram you guys would follow to do the bobbin so the solid line is actually for just regular threading down to the bottom needle and this dashed line is for the bobbin so you basically just follow that little diagram and this is what your bobbin side would look like and you follow those steps okay. so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna plop my bobbin on the bobbin holder and you guys this means your bobbin is not engaged when it's pushed over to the side like this it's not engaged so your needle down here is basically free to sew as necessary but once your bobbin engages this is engaged this is not engaged and this is engaged again once it's engaged your bobbin not, not your bobbin but your uh, needle does not move so yeah if you're gonna sew remember to uh unlock your bobbin after you get get done so we're gonna take our thread and like i said um uh, we're going to basically follow this diagram and the bobbin is the dotted diagram you guys so we have this little loop on the back i'm trying to hold my camera and do this with one hand so bear with me i might have to sit my camera down but uh, you're actually going to go back here if my camera can focus there we go and you're going to like slip your thread underneath there and it should go under there to be into the loop that's back here you're actually going to take it and go under here under this second ledge now this is the piece that you follow so you would take your thread and go around you go around this little standing piece here I'm trying to get it get it focused sorry guys okay so you want to go around that little standing piece 
and loop it behind but underneath the little round part so I can actually show you guys that one more time so when you're bringing your bobbin from I mean not your bobbin but when you bring your thread from underneath here you're gonna loop it around the standing piece up at the top sorry I'm trying to focus loop it around so it's almost like it's choking it but it's not and it's gonna slide down and what you're gonna do you're gonna have your make sure your thread is underneath here so you're gonna come around the back of this and basically just bring your thread around so now once you've done that you can just take it to your bobbin and like I said your bobbin actually has holes um, I think this has like either four or three holes so what will make it easier for you is like you can you see that guys okay but you would bring um, your thread through one of those holes and basically you don't want your thread to be on the bottom but you want to be able to hold your thread at the top when you first start um, winding up your bobbin so I'm finna go and put this thread in there can't do it with one hand all right so I have my thread on my bobbin now and like I said you want to have the thread at the top do not have the thread at the bottom because you're not going to be able to hold it and like this um, bobbin actually sits down in this um, bobbin holder part so you're going to want to hold it you're going to want to engage your bobbin and now what you would do is press your presser foot I have to sit down I have to sit down for this you guys well not not really I can stand up and do this but as long as okay when you do this make sure you hold your bob I mean hold your thread for like a good few minutes a few seconds rather for it to wind around so I'm gonna show you now And so what I normally do is, like, once it gets to, like, that, I will go and cut off the little piece that I'm holding. So you can cut that off so you won't have to worry about it and it won't get caught in this other thread. So that's pretty quick and convenient. And you can also follow this diagram and it shows you to hold your thread out at the top. So we're going to continue to fill our bobbin. Like you see this, this piece is going to sit to where your thread and your bobbin actually touch. You can fill your bobbin up as much or as less as you want. But I normally try and get a good bit of thread on my bobbin. Like, you see how it's stopping now? You can actually stop. So, the bobbin is actually full. So now what you want to do. You want to unengage your bobbin. You want to go cut your thread. Just uh, I mean, it doesn't matter where you cut it. Just cut. And now you can take your bobbin. Like I said, it's full. Focus camera. And so, um, yeah, you can take your bobbin now. And what you're going to do is... Okay, and guys, the correct um, term for this piece is actually the thread, well, the bobbin winder guide. Just like you have a thread guide in the back, this would be your bobbin thread guide. So I just don't want to be telling you guys the wrong terminology of saying just this little thingy, but this is the, the thread guide for your bobbin. And also... When you're doing this, when you're threading your bobbin, make sure you kind of pull that thread kind of taut and make sure it's not loose. And that's one of the things when dealing with your bobbin, actually. You see how this is nicely wound around. It's not loose. It's not wild looking. 
when you thread your bobbin and your bobbin um and your thread starts to look all loose and just weird you need to restart because it's not going to do right in your machine and it's your stitches are going to look terrible so um just make sure you have a nice smooth wound thread on your bobbin now we can actually move down here the good part right so on this side of your machine, if you still have this on your machine, I just left it here. It's actually going to show you how to um, how your bobbin should go inside your machine. So I'm going to take the plate off. And this is the compartment where your bobbin goes. Down here, you guys. Down here. And so, okay. So right now... The thread on my bobbin is actually going to the left. But you want it to go to the right. So you want it to be going that way. And how it's labeled on your machine is actually to do this. You just flip it. Flip it like that. And lay it in. So my thread. Let me zoom in. Try and focus. It doesn't want to focus. Okay, so it doesn't want to focus. But it's actually a picture. Let me turn this light off for you guys. Alright, so it's actually a little um, diagram of the bobbin. Which way it should be going. Which way your thread should be going. So, once you put that bobbin down in there, you need to make sure that your thread is going that way. Going that way. So, you follow this. It'll go that way and out. And what that means is, once you put it down in here, you want to bring this thread around and under here. Move my hands out of the way. Around. It'll be around and under that little piece and if you keep going with your thread it it actually has a cutter right here so it can just cut that thread for you and at, so yeah it can cut your thread and so you're pretty much done if you want to leave now what I normally do is I leave the thread out like I'll have it out to the side just as you would with um, your upper thread so you leave some out and that'll help sorry and that'll help when it comes to like when you start stitching your um like your your top thread is going to catch your bobbin thread so in order for that to properly do catch you need to make sure that your bobbin is properly placed in the machine and you need to make sure that your bobbin is properly round because that can affect your stitching and so i hope you guys enjoy this video i'm just gonna put my cover back on my bobbin cover don't mind that this tape and you're good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope um it kind of helps you out with your machine i'm actually going to be doing another video on how to troubleshoot with the machine because i know some of you guys have been telling me that like um you've been having a couple problems with your machine and that the manual isn't helping so i plan on doing troubleshooting if you could you could just leave like questions that you have or anything like that or any other um video that you guys want to see so i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys have a nice day bye